the interpretation of the result of this ohmic and non-ohmic element prac really has to do with the application of Ohm's law. Now you can see I've written Ohm's law in the form V equals to Ri because I wanted you to see that it can be seen as where the resistance stands in the place of the gradient of a straight line. And in the case of the ohmic element, you would have come across a graph that looks something like this. Where in fact, this suggests that it can be represented by a straight line and of course the implication is that Ohm's law is directly applicable. But in the case of the non-ohmic element, you should have found something like this. <coughs> And these data clearly do not represent a straight line and in fact it should look something like that. The implication of this is of course that as the voltage increases so the current also increases but not in a proportional amount as in the case of the ohmic one. Now we've asked you to do two other things and that is to determine the equivalent resistance at two points, at two voltages. We've given you two ranges somewhere here possibly and somewhere over there possibly what you need to do is to select a point read the current and voltage at that point read the current and voltage at this point and then determine the resistance or the equivalent resistance should I say at that point and the equivalent resistance of this point bearing in mind that what we are considering here is that as the voltage increases so we see that this relationship is such that the gradient is also increasing and an increasing gradient implies of course an increasing resistance consequently this is a non-ohmic element thank you